Hi guys, so welcome to the 10th part of the series on must know radiology images. My name is Dr. Zainab Bora and I've uh, done my MBBS and MD in radiology from Ames New Delhi and I teach radiology on the Unacademy platform. So in this particular part, which is the 10th part, you can check out the previous uh, uh, videos on the Unacademy Neat PG channel if you are interested. So in this particular video, we're going to discuss uh, plural effusion on uh, radiograph. All right. So the first thing that I want to tell you about plural effusion, when we talk about the most sensitive investigation to detect the minimal amount of fluid. So remember the most sensitive investigation, which does not even have radiation, it is ultrasound. Also remember that CT is equally sensitive as ultrasound, but it has radiation which is associated. So when asked to choose between the two, you go for ultrasound. After that, if they ask you what is the most sensitive chest X-ray, what kind of a view do you want to do on a radiograph? To detect the minimal amount of fluids. The most sensitive chest x-ray remember is going to be ipsilateral lateral decubitus. So you basically ask the person to lie down on the side of which the effusion is suspected. All right. So that side gravity basically will make the fluid layer out and that will be detected on the x-ray. Apart from that after the most uh, sensitive which is ipsilateral lateral decubitus we have the lateral chest x-ray which is sensitive then we have the chest x-ray PA view in an erect position and finally the least sensitive is going to be a supine radiograph all right so these are just a few one-liners that you want to know most sensitive ultrasound CT most sensitive radiograph is going to be ipsilateral lateral decubitus having said that now the kind of images that we want to look at is the purpose of this video is to detect the various types of effusions you know so the first image that I'm showing you here is a frontal erect radiograph very what are we finding so this is how a normal CP angle a normal costophrenic angle will appear which is this particular sharpness that you're seeing on the other hand when it is blunted and you see a opacity which is there in the hemithorax with this sort of a meniscus forming upwards it's also called as the ellicis s curve clinically so this meniscus sign with cp angle blunting and a lot of times you might find that there is shift there is contralateral mediastinal shift because of the effusion so when you find an opacity with contralateral shift think of effusion right so this is a free plural effusion remember this is how a normal plural effusion would appear on an erect radiograph on the other hand when we see something like this where the lateral margin is not the highest point you know it's not forming this meniscus it is basically a well defined convex sort of an opacity with cp angle blunting so cp angle blunting is there for sure but along with that it is not conforming to the laws of gravity right it is loculated so this is when we know that this is a loculated effusion and this means that there are adhesions. It's a complicated kind of effusion and usually these effusions will need drainage. All right? So this would mean that these are complicated effusions and would need pigtail drainage. Usually the pigtail is placed under ultrasound guidance. Okay. So this is how a loculated effusion would appear on a radiograph. Going ahead, something which more or less appears normal, right? So if you look at this radiograph, the CP angle is more or less fine. The only thing I'm finding is that the right hemidiaphragm is raised as compared to the left one here, isn't it? So what is the inference? So when we find that the right hemidiaphragm is raised, now focus on the right hemidiaphragm for a moment. Normally, when there is diaphragm being raised, the center part should be at the topmost level. However, if you notice carefully, this is upwards more laterally, right? So when you see a diaphragm which is raised as compared to the contralateral side and the highest point, the dome, is not at the center but slightly laterally, this is a special kind of effusion which is called the subpulmonic effusion. So this is the subpulmonic effusion that you are seeing, all right, where the effusion as the name suggests is below the lungs. Alright, so this is something which is important. So these are the three kinds of uh, effusions that I wanted to show you on a radiograph, of uh, erect radiograph. So this is an uncomplicated normal run of the mill plural effusion. This is loculated plural effusion where there are adhesions, there is a complicated sort of effusion. And when it gathers below the lung, remember you will see just the diaphragm, you will see, sorry, 
you'll see just the diaphragm being raised and that particular diaphragm is going to be raised more laterally all right so this was about the must know images about the effusion the type of effusion then the diagnosis on the radiograph so i hope this is useful and i'll see you all soon with the next one thank you